Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to discuss about Geoffrey Chaucer. Geoffrey Chaucer who is a prominent writer or we can say an important writer for the literature point of view and you are going to deal with his literary career, his life and his works in detail uh, for clearing the examinations, different examinations related to this. So we are going to deal with the prominent writer or the famous writer of English English literature who is Geoffrey Chaucer. So Geoffrey Chaucer was born in 1343 and died in 1400. Guys you have to read, uh, sorry, you have to remember this particular date of uh, birth and death and uh, one another point that he is also known as the father of English poetry and he was recognized all over the world or he is the poet of national importance. Apart from this, apart from this all, we are going to discuss about his literary career and his life and the works, different works. So, start karte hai Geoffrey Chaucer ki life se. Geoffrey Chaucer jo hai, unke pita ek merchant the wine ke. So, his father was a wealthy merchant of, uh, we can say, um, uh, wealthy wine merchant. So, he is the son of a wealthy wine merchant. Another point is he was educated at St. Paul Cathedral School. And after that, after his schooling, in 1357 particularly, he became a page or we can say the women's page. There, this is a kind of a post there uh, in that particular society or in that particular era, we can say. So after that, he moved, moved uh, to be a courtier उसके बाद वो डिप्लोमेट बनते हैं और उसके बाद सिविल सर्वेंट बनते हैं तो ये सब चीजें जो हैं अबाउट द लाइफ ऑफ चौसर इज देयर सो आफ्टर दैट अगर फैमिली के बारे में बात करें तो फैमिली में उनकी शादी जो है फिलिपा रोइट से होती है फिलिपा रोइट के साथ शादी होने के बाद उनके तीन बच्चे भी हैं थॉमस लुइस एंड अनदर वन हिज डॉटर इज एलिजाबेथ एलिजाबेथ उनकी डॉटर है और जो फिलिपा रॉयट हैं उनकी सिस्टर है कैथरीन एंड लेटर बिकेम दैट केट दैट केट कैथरीन बिकेम द वाइफ ऑफ जॉन ऑफ गॉन्ट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इट दैट फिलिपा जो हैं जो फ्रेचोसर की जो वाइफ हैं उनकी बहन कैथरीन कैथरीन स्विनफोर्ड बेसिकली द फुल नेम इज कैथरीन स्विनफोर्ड एंड सी बिकेम थर्ड वाइफ ऑफ जॉन ऑफ गॉन्ट एंड दिस जॉन ऑफ गॉन्ट इज अ पर्टिकुलर नेम इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर सो after that in 1367 he worked under the king edward iii and uh, uh, he got a life pension from his, uh, his services or for his services so up to this you have to remember these all things that he was a uh, son of wealthy merchant or wine merchant we can say and uh, he started sent at saint paul cathedral church and uh, school sorry then uh, he married to Philippa Royet and after that his career ke agar baare baat kare to he worked at the several royal posts there in the reign of Edward III and Richard II aur uske alawa, alawa jo hai unko Florence bheja gaya theek hai uh, France bheja gaya aur you know very well this age was a this age particularly 14th and 15th century when Chaucer was surviving or Chaucer's life was there. So in this period the, the situations were in uh, very uncertain and chaotic. Why why the situations were un uh, uncertain and chaotic? Because these wars like 100 year war and uh, like 100 year war ke baad jo baat aati hai agar peasants revolts is there and bubonic plague was there. So these things are repeating again and again and this age was not good or we can say uh, the the chaos was there in this age particular age but still uh, Chaucer took himself from the situations and uh, he wrote a literature that is part particularly important for us or any English literature student so career ki aage hum baat kare to unko bheja gaya missions pe bheja gaya like France bheja gaya Genoa bheja gaya okay after that he traveled there and he met or he came into uh, the being like he found himself with the works of Boccaccio and uh, other writers like Dante 
उनको उनको पढ़ता है वो वहाँ जाके और उसके बाद जो है रिचार्ड टू जो है इन 1386 उनके काल के अंदर उनके समय के अंदर वो ही वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द पार्लियामेंट पार्लियामेंटेरियन और वी कैन से द मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट देयर एंड फॉर द कैंट ठीक है कैंट इज़ अ प्लेस देयर उसके लिए मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट उनको चुना गया सो दिस इज़ ऑल अबाउट द लाइफ ऑफ जोफ्रे चौसर एंड नव वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हिज लिटरेरी करियर और लिटरेरी पीरियड्स बेसिकली ही इज लिटरेरी पीरियड इज डिवाइड इंटू थ्री कैटेगरीज वन इज फ्रेंच वन इज अनदर वन इज इटालियन एंड देन वी हैव इंग्लिश पीरियड सो इन इटालियन अगर बात करें तो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर टू वर्कस दोज आर ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ रोमन डीलर रोज एंड अनदर वन इज द बुक ऑफ द टचेस द बुक ऑफ द टचेस एंड ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ रोमन डीला रोज दीज आर अंडर फ्रेंच पीरियड और वी कैन से द अर्ली पीरियड ठीक है उसके बाद अगर बात करें सो मिडल पीरियड इज देयर मिडल पीरियड के बारे में हम बात करते हैं तो उसमें कुछ वर्क्स जैसे कि द बुक ऑफ द टचेस द लेजेंड ऑफ गुड वीमेन एंड द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ कॉन्सोलेशन ऑफ फिलोसफी द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ फाउल्स एंड द हाउस ऑफ फेम दीज आर द इम्पोर्टेंट वर्कस ऑफ जोफ्री चौसर आफ्टर दैट इन द फाइनल पीरियड ऑफ वी कैन से द इंग्लिश पीरियड इन इंग्लिश पीरियड ही रोट अ प्रोमिनेंट और फेमस वर्क दैट इज You must have to remember this work, and this work is the Canterbury Tales. And this work came into existence after the third, after uh, year thirteen eighty seven. So these are the three periods, and under these three periods, he wrote these different works. So once more, we have to uh, remember these. Like we can revise these works. The very first work is the translation of Roman de la Rose. This is under French period or early period. We can say. you have to remember this and uh, next work is the book of the duchess these two works are there in the early period or french period next middle period is there and in the middle period we have the book of the duchess the house of the fame and the legend of good women and translation of consolation of philosophy and troilus and cressida these are the works and in the final period or english period we can say he wrote the canterbury tales in the next video we are going to deal with his works in detail so one by one we will be discussing the his works and aap bane rahiyega dekhte rahiyega thank you thank you very much for watching the video